Now we have Tank versus Kendrick Olimar. Indeed, indeed. It's going to be very interesting to see. I believe it's either going to be... So the thing with Tarek is, right, he plays Kazuya and Greninja. But his stance on matchups is usually go Greninja, sorry, go Kazuya until it stops working. So there's a very good chance he could go Kazuya against Young Link, which I think is a really terrible matchup. Yeah, I can see that. However, I am predicting the Gren game one. Yeah. Because Young Link. However, yeah. I actually was talking to Tekka, and I did, I did say there was a chance, you know, if Tarek doesn't rate Tekka. Hi, Lugi. Hi, Lugi. That right here. I heard he's Hungry Box's biggest fan from an outside source. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did think if. Tarek doesn't quite know too much about um, Tekka. Might just be like, you know what? I'm just going to go Kazuya because I feel like it. Exactly. I mean, I it's always worth it. a try once, you know. I'm Tarek. I can do it. Because Kazuya, I think like Kazuya is one of the perfect pause characters to have. Not only because like they speed run games so fast that it saves a lot of mental energy, but a lot of people in pause won't be familiar with the matchup. Mm -hmm. And Capsuli um, Kazuya is one of the best characters in the game at capitalizing on that. So all in all, it makes for a good way to save mental stamina. But. Yep. And you have a character piloted by a player as talented and skilled as Tarek. Indeed, indeed. Wrapping his new glitch energy jersey. Indeed, the GG Esports. I know Tarek's been looking, uh, looking for a sponsor for the longest time and managed to find one recently. Yep. So it was amazing to see. Congratulations, Tarek. Congratulations. We'll see how this game goes. Indeed, it is. <laughs> UKIE. UKIE. Kendrick Olimar. If his, we've had his flag changed. He's no longer a Mexican resident. <laughs> He's no longer a Mexican Kendrick Olimar. He is now from the UK. The Mexican scene is very disappointed to announce the loss of uh, Kendrick Olimar <laughs> as they have been stolen. <laughs> Kendrick Olimar will be departing from Mexico. Indeed. When we join the UK. Indeed. Here at Regen 2022. Honestly, I've loved Regen so far. Even though I haven't been able to compete as much as I'd want to, it's been an amazing spectator experience. You can see, as for everyone watching, the vibes here are immaculate. As you heard with the last set, the chance, the crowd goes crazy. Yeah, and, and if you thought this was all, you've got the exact same situation going on upstairs and then even above that in Rivals. Yeah, like that's this is maybe one half or one third of the UK crowd. So imagine how crazy it's going to be when they're all... Oh yeah, more, if, you, if, if, you, if you think crowds can be loud, just, just wait until later. Yeah. You don't know the half of it. When the any dimension fabs and Sadie are all in the same room, magic is going to happen. It's, it's not a joke, Scars. It's no, it's no, it's Thank absolutely you no laugh. joke. I think I heard you chuckle, King. Hold on, King. I heard you, you know, like a little bit of a laugh, you know. I believe I heard a giggle emanate from your general vicinity. <laughs> not quite, King. <laughs> I respect your concern. Uh, gotta double check, because it's no joke. You can't get caught laughing. Sorry, I'll just say King. But it is looking like we're going to see the Greninja from Tarek. And I understand why. Um, Kazuya versus the Link, specifically Young Link and Toon Link, not a fun matchup. Yeah. <laughs> Any character that can play neutral from outside of Kazuya's wave dash range has a really good time against Kazuya and makes his life really hard. Greninja, on the other hand, as we saw here, very fast, very mobile, whip punish character. That really good at zone breaking. However, unfortunately, the outer shield isn't great. So <laughs> and the Young Link shield pressure is insane. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh -huh. We've got a slow start to the game just now. Indeed, so indeed. Relative looking for their openings, filling each other out. Relatively even percents. Fun fact, I think these characters are like the same weight as well. <laughs> so if oh, the yeah. percents are even, <laughs> then the game is actually quite literally even. <sighs> but yeah. I know, I know that Greninja is kind of like the uh, surgical tool where Young Link would be a sledgehammer. Yeah. So. Tarek's combo game was always very, so very solid. I'm always a big fan. Indeed, indeed. It's always amazing to see. I love this skin as well. The pink, the pink Greninja skin is just so amazing. I think we've commentated three grinds, three different grinds uh, this wave. Know. I know we did Tarek, and I know we did Tarek Pip -Lop. Pip -Lop. And we did um, Mikel. Oh, yeah. Versus, the Falcon versus, versus Greninja. Sugar, yeah. So, hey, if you've ever wanted to learn how to play as or against Greninja, because counterplay is really important when you watch bots. You have three different bots to watch right here and right now. Yeah, we've slowly gone up, slowly gone up the rankings in, in grants in terms of their rankings in like their respective countries. Exactly. We've gone from uh, all, from Mikhail all the way to EUPR, top ten, top five. 
turret can Somewhere in the top 10. Yeah. And that now is going to be a very funny angle. And Kendrick Olimar, aka Tekka, is going to get the first stock. He's going to get the lead. Ooh, is Upper going to take it? Not, Not quite. quite no. Ooh. And that Upper is going that to get interrupted. Saving Tekka. Indeed. He had the right idea capitalizing on the bomb pulls. Remember that would kill? Yep, absolutely. Indeed. And here we have it. Even game at the moment. Anyone's to take. Bomb in hand, not quite going to find the conversion. Honestly, my favorite thing in the game, as you may know, is item combos. Item combos, especially with the opponent item, can be so creative. Is that going to be it? <laughs> not quite. Very nice. And that is going to be the edge guard. Here we have it. Tarek going from losing his stock first to the stock leads. Amazing to see. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing to see. We're only 4 1, 4 1 percent to, to his name. Indeed, Very indeed. comfortable lead. He's only looking to extend it. Tarek's come confirms are always so important. Absolutely. It's just the nature of adaptation in this game, man. It's such an amazing tool and so amazing to see. It's very impressive. It's, just, it's very inspiring. Although, the is someone who down without a fight scores. Indeed. He's, put, he's giving it his all. And, but however, Tarek is slowly closing out, <laughs> shutting down the mountain through which he can climb back through. And that looks like it's going to be a. Yeah, that's the thing with Young Link. His bomb does help him recover, but his recovery, due to the nature of his like uh, speed and the combination of full speed, he falls so fast that he can't travel far enough. So if he's far out and has a bomb and gets hit there, he can't. He has a hard time making it back. Has a really tough time making it back. Yeah, we're moving on to game two. I believe it's both players will probably stay in the exact same character. Absolutely. Red working out beautifully for Tarek. Indeed. Tekka wanting to stick out with the young leg. As he knows if he plays very well like that first stock. He can't take these games. Indeed, indeed. Keep it steady all the way through. I know that Tekka used to have a Steve and used to have a Falcon, but I'm pretty sure we will be seeing the solo young leg today. Uh, yeah, I do remember that Tekka Steve era actually. Yeah. But I don't think he wants to play Steve anymore. Yeah. It's just, I think he said himself he has a really hard time because both characters are very technical, right? Their advantage state is very combo heavy. So as a result, having two sec having two characters where their combo that rely require a lot of work is very, very tough. And not really, not entirely meta feasible, I feel. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, oh, not quite. A very near unfortunate SD, but Tarek takes a deep breath, makes it straight back. <laughs> imagine, imagine the SC just coming out right there. Yeah, would have been a way, interesting way to start game two. Very nice round, yeah. <laughs> the up me and top me. Indeed, indeed. The tried and true. If it doesn't work once, oh my Ooh. goodness, that foot's still down. Ooh. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Tarek is <laughs> moving and that's. Tekka really the top back of D Tekka's having fun too. <laughs> Look at Tekka, he's loving it. <laughs> oh, T-Bag is coming out. Oh, we love a good fellow T-Bagger. That was such an insane conversion from Tarek. Drag down back air. <laughs> no, footstool down air. Oh my goodness. So much going on. It's hard to keep up. A parry. Ooh, very nice parry from Tarek. Indeed. Not getting anything off of it though. And that net is going to shut down the zone that Tarek wants to move in. It says, get back to ledge, sir. And that forward throw. Oh, could he get off? Get away Try again. again. Maybe next time, King. <laughs> Oh, oh! Not quite gonna land a footstool, but still. No, good. Bates had the early recovery, regardless, because if he had to use his jump to recover that, I'm pretty sure Tarek would have footstooled him. Still, just unfortunate to see. And Kendrick Polymer on his last stop, he has to make something happen. And these off-stage plays, just, these off-stage, off-stage plays, are stop, are the start, but he needs a little bit more. We'll see if he gets a little bit more. Does he take stop one? Move on to stop two. Indeed, indeed. So we move forward onto stock two. Can he focus and bring it out? Bring out all of his power scores. Indeed, unleash that nitty potential. Go even further beyond. Potential unlocked. Tekka. <laughs> <laughs> Second phase of the boss battle. And as I say Mystic that. Tekka. Mystic Tekka. I mean, honestly, as I say that, he's pulling this game back. He went from a two stock deficit to 94% on Tarek's second stock. As soon as Tarek wants to get these conversions as well, if they're not perfect, you're eating a net. So as a result, Tarek has to be very careful, oh. very surgical. Just take your time. 
And that yep. recovery once and we again. Move on to game three. Both of them just is. running it right back. We've got a replay. <laughs> We've got a replay the wind screen. <laughs> Thank you, production. Thank you, production. You love to see it. Yeah, I love the production team here, man. They're so good. It's amazing to see. Tarek, uh, looking to close out. Indeed, indeed. As you have it, look at that first all, man. That first all. <laughs> Take his face. First all down air, tech chase, down tilt into tech chase, up smash. Tarek's brain is on another level right now. I'm still in disbelief. He's, his mind's on overtime right now, Scott. Exactly. He says See, he can take a match at state. Exactly. Get some Goku versus Jiren type of stuff going on. Yes, sir. I love a little bit of a back and forth adaptation wise. That's what I'm saying, King. Tech always starts off very strongly. Just isn't able to kind of keep it throughout the whole match. So yeah. it's it can be very tough as well, because top players adapt oh, very quickly to what you're doing. So the second, they'll use those first couple stocks to uh, gather information and then capitalize on them in those last couple stocks to pull it back. Ooh, almost. Good mix up though. Tekka tech rolled in last time, so Tarek was expecting that. However, just ready to tech roll away, saying, nope, fool me once, shame on me. You're not going to fool me twice. Yep. Fool me once. Shame on me. Twice. Shame on you. Pull me three times. I should probably start adapting. <laughs> <laughs> Pull me three times. Maybe I need a different button, bro. Yeah. Hold on. Maybe I should stop tech rolling in. <laughs> but still, Tarek is making the most of every single tech fish. God, God. Look at that. 60% on deck and counting. All that started from a 40% tech change. It's amazing to see. Tarek just taking his time as well. Look at that, just waiting, reacting. The blender. The blender. Tekka is at 100% on this second stock. He has to find an answer. Got to get that opening to even yep. out the percents. Gold make himself as hard to kill as possible. Indeed. <coughs> Got to play around those nares, play around those grabs. The down tilts should be good. Too. However, dash attack is an option I did Ooh. not list. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I didn't know Young Link had that type of upbeat. That's insane. My goodness. Jesus, we learn new things every day. As if his recovery wasn't already good. He can just do whatever he wants. And that forward air is going to catch him coming. Another... Never took Tech not trailing too far behind. True. Tarek is doing what he needs to in this in this kind of matchup, which is playing the mid-range. Because Young Link's up close game, very good. Young yes. Link's support game, very good. Yes. His mid range kind of lacking. Your best options are like Zare, which aren't really used very much by Young Link's. Maybe grab, but pivot grab and like dash back fire arrow. But all of those, most of those get beaten by a jump in forward air. So. <laughs> <laughs> or a space jump in forward air, to be precise. Yes. Oh, good tech. Very nice tech from Tekka. Call it the Tekka. Some might say it's his purpose, it's very being. Tech master. Indeed. And Tekka, evening it out, yeah. one more stop. Like, like, I'm, like I was saying, he's not too far behind. It's indeed, definitely indeed. doable. He has it in him. But I'm uh, never mind, my Tekka fault. My fault. He's going to take it. Very nice job to really both players. It. That was a hot set. I was enjoying that. Showing every minute of it. That was amazing, honestly. Really good showing from both players. Wonderful to see. Very nicely done. Congratulations. Tekka moves through to top 96 through loser's side. Mm -hmm. Tarek moves to top 96 through winner's side. Absolutely. Amazing to see.